home for the minor leagues, MLB The Show is proud to welcome you to another edition of postseason baseball. A good matchup here in game two between the Albuquerque Isotopes and the New Orleans Zephyrs. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskirchen welcoming you to our coverage of the minor league postseason. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. And they'll align themselves like this here tonight. Lionel Gibson will get the call to face them, and the key for him will almost certainly be getting ahead in the count early. We've seen in the past when he's forced to work from behind, he can run into some problems. Richie Leffler makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this season. Right Richie Leffler. Here's a pitch taken for ball one as we get underway here at 7.06. The 1-0 pitch. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside one and one. And not a bad night for baseball and even 70 degrees here at game time. A 1-1 home. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. One, two. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. So the leadoff man is gone here to kick off game two. And with that, Here's a look at the Zephyrs on D. It's brought to us by the folks at Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Ronnie Chavez will step in now. First pitch coming. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Bases are empty. One man out. The 1-0. Comes in with the changeup and it's 2 0. Oh. 2 0 -oh count, the pitch. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2 and 1. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Ready with the 2 1. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Here's the two and two offering. Grounded softly to the left side. Pro gets him, two down. Yeah, on a slow chopper like that, that is the third baseman's ball. If he can get to it, he's got the momentum going the right way towards first base. So he'll just cut right in front of the shortstop and make that play to first. Standing in now, Ahmad Khan. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Now here it comes. Now a high bouncer toward the hole. Knee high, he barehands it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first year. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score.
As we get to the bottom half, let's look at our starting lineup right there on your screen. Jonathan Baines will have the challenge of stopping these guys. This is a guy that's got a workhorse mentality out there, not afraid to throw a lot of pitches, but if he gets careless with his location, he can be hittable. Here's a look now at the defensive alignment they'll have to contend with. Alvin Strickland will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. Oh. Now the 1-0. Oh. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Now the 2-0. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. And a rather easy first out. Edgar Canizaro digs in at the plate. And here's the first pitch. A high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And for a starter, he has one of the better fastballs you're going to see. That one at 95. And now a pitch on the way. Now the 0-1 is swung on and lifted out to straightaway center field. Davies is there. Two gone. Batting third. Right, right fielder. fielder. Homer. Williams. Homer Williams will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. First pitch coming. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Leffler is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. We played an inning, still nothing, nothing. Darnell Davies leads things off now in the top half of the second. Darnell Davies. First offering on the way. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Now here's the pitch. Now the 0 1 is swung on and hit on the ground to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Nate Fryman will stand in for the first time here. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. He's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. Pitch on the way. Center field. Two quick outs here in the second. Second baseman. Akinori Mori will stand in here, looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. Now the first pitch. And he'll start in with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. One and oh. Here it comes. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The right-hander deals on one and two. Hit hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. Now another one-two. 
Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats so the count will stay put at one and two. Now here's the pitch. Foul back. another one two uh, had to protect on one and two and this is a fly ball out to straightaway right field Williams is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side Ernesto Dorta the stand in coming off a great performance in the game one victory he really is the X factor in this lineup he can stay hot you're gonna have a good chance of pulling this thing out First pitch on the way. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Here's the pitch. Now he takes something off there as this is skied out to deep center field. Davies has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. That ball was hit well, and it might have been a different story if you pulled it. Instead, he hit it to the big part of the ballpark, and he's retired. Claudio Velasquez will take his first cuts of the ball game here. First pitch coming. First pitch here is another fly ball. This one out to left field. Han is camped under this one, and he's got it for out number two. Adding six. Catcher. Michael Chang. Michael Chang to get his first chance now. Trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. One, two, three. Leffler is there and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Medina will stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Now here it comes. Chopper foul. the pitch swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down well most scouts rate players attributes on a 20 to 80 scale with 80 being considered elite I'll tell you what that's an 80 fastball I don't need miles per hour he is bringing it folks stepping in now Mike Sharp as the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Here comes the 1-0. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Here's the 1-1. Gets a good piece of it there, but this is fouled off toward the third base coaching box. The one and two with one away. And a bouncing ball, foul. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Again, a 1-2. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Right over the top there with the four-seam fastball. Good drive through the release. Just threw it right by him in the letter. Jonathan Baines will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Now, here's the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. The one one. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. A hundred miles an hour is hard. A high 100, impossible to get on top of. Yeah, just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. The 
play two and a half. No score on the show. Didi Gregorius come forward to begin the inning. Seven, eight, nine to start the home third. And they're still searching for a base runner. It's been six up, six down to start the game. Here's the first offering. And it looks like that'll put him into the hit column here as this is into left field, a base hit. Maybe these guys are going to start getting a little more aggressive here early in the count. This is the first pitch of the inning, and he's on base here to kick things off. Chuck Alexander will stand in. First pitch to him. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. The 1 0 home. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Can't ask for a whole lot more to start the inning. Hey. Back to back base hits have to get to score our first run of the night. Lionel Gibson will stand in, and you can almost guarantee he'll be trying to move those runners here. Pickoff move to second. Smart to keep an eye on. He waits. Now the pitch. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. Good lead off the second there. Now the pitch. Now we'll try to beat one out here, but this will be just foul. First and second here with nobody out. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. And in the end result, this is probably okay because you'd at least rather have the pitcher cause one out rather than ground into two. In now, Alvin Strickland. And this is knocked down on the mound. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Three innings in the book. Still no score on the show. Richie Leffler will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so against a guy who's definitely in a groove out there. Richie, yeah, he struck out the side his last time through, and they've got to do something to get this guy out of the role that he's been on. Now the pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. The next 0-2. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He doesn't really have a chance to set himself up, so this is all arm, but he makes it look routine. Into the box now, Ronnie Chavez. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Pro gets him, two down. Man. And not only has he not allowed a hit to this point, but he's also faced the minimum so far. You can't do much better than that. Now here's the first pitch. Ahmad Khan will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And you know what, guys? I have been really impressed so far. Not only has he used his fastball well, but he's also spotted it well. I mean, that is perfect location right on the knees. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to Ferb. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. 
can't start any better than this. He set down the first 12. To the bottom of inning number four we go. And we are tied nothing nothing. Edgar Canizaro will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now the first pitch. And this ball is going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. And now pitch on the way. Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll take this to the bag. Three unassisted for the first out. Now batting. Right, right fielder. fielder. Homer, Homer Williams. Williams. Homer Williams will try it again. He flew out his first time. First pitch coming. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Now here's the pitch. Out of play. Now the one and one pitch. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. Leffler back in plenty of time to put this away however and there are two gone. Very quickly five pitches two outs here in the fourth. Those are the kind of innings you love to have playing on working deep into the ball. Ernesto Dorta come in now with two away, and I've got to say, it may be about time to start taking a pitch or two. Yeah, I mean, he is just running right through these guys. They've been getting themselves out left and right. He's hardly even broken a sweat out there. And here's the first pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. On to the top of inning number five we go, and we are tied nothing nothing. Darnell Davies will stand in to lead things off here. His guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. And you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront. And this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. And the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And he's just running right through these guys. Absolutely worn him down. Pitch on the way. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. I think we expected to see a well-pitched game coming in, and, and we got one. It's starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. Nate Fryman will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Here's the first offering. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1-0. and oh. The next pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. A 1-1. Fastball called strike, 1-2. and two. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. The one two. And a fastball flew it right by him, and there are two down. Now look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Akinori Mori will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. First pitch coming. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Well on his way to another good inning right here, and you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Fastball called for strike two. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing. 
Here it comes. Now a check swing as he's able to fight this one off. Foul. Ready with another 0-2. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Claudio Velasquez will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Now here's the first pitch. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And maybe a chance for our first run. He's in with a leadoff double. Off the bat, I thought this thing might be caught. But it just keeps going and going and surely got it out of here as he winds up hitting it off the track. He's in the second base here with the leadoff double. Michael Chang will stand in now with a good chance to break the seal here following the leadoff double. Well, it's a good RBI opportunity, but you've got to remember your first job, which is to at least get that guy over to third base. First offering on the way. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Fastball right back to the mound. And an unproductive at-bat that time as the runner holds at second with one away now. Well, a little unfortunate there. If this gets by the mound, almost certainly gets that runner to third with only one out, but that's a good job by the pitcher to spirit. Look the runner back, get the out at first, and that guy's still standing on second base. First pitch on the way. Didi Gregorius will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. A throw behind the runner at second, and the runner back in standing. He's ready now. The pitch hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And this one will be fouled back in among the fans. Another 0-2 home. This is offered at in the dirt for strike three. Just needs to make that easy throw to first. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first. And there are two away now. Chuck Alexander will dig in. He singled his first time around. First pitch coming. He goes the other way, and this one's going to split the gap for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And that'll drive in the run from second as they're on the board first, one to nothing. Well, I got to tell you, I love the way this guy just lets it rip. Ahead in the count, behind in the count. It really doesn't matter to this guy. He's just going to go off and hack it. And he drives in a run right here as he just drills this one for two bases. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Standing in now, Lionel Gibson. This will chase one up around the letters here for strike one. And even after the two-out RBI, you still have a chance to help yourself out here with a hit. You've got a man in scoring position. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Swing and a liner back through the box. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And the run will score from second to make this a 2-0 ball game. Helping his own cause right there. And no need to wait for the RBI guys to drive him in. He says, you know what? I can be an RBI guy, too. That's a great at-bat right there. And that drives in a run. 
Calvin Strickland will try and keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and he pops him up. Behind the bag at second. Medina has got it and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Zephyrs lead it two to nothing. Keith Medina will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Keith Medina. Here's the first offering. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. And right now, these guys just need something to break their way. A blooper, a bunt, a hit by pitch. Something to get a base runner and give that guy something else to think about out there. Now a check swing, but he makes contact and hits it out in front of the plate. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now now batting. Batting. Mike Sharp Mike will stride Mike in again. Sharp. He struck out swinging his first time. Now the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll take this to the bank himself, and there are two away now. Yeah, and it's kind of been one of those days. There haven't been too many balls hit hard, and even when they do hit one hard, it's an atom ball. James Jenkins will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. James Jenkins. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Boy, he has been a first strike throwing machine, hasn't he? He's hardly been behind in the count all game long. Now the pitch. Now a swing, and oh boy, ground balls have ruled the inning. A third straight right here. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So six perfect innings for him out of the gate as he's been masterful. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. New Orleans is out in front, two to nothing. Jairo Diaz will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Number 50, Jairo Diaz. Edgar Canizaro will try it again. Over two with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Yeah, good start to the inning there. You could see him really turn on this pitch and drive at that time. It'll wind up hopping over the wall out there, but no matter, he was going to be in easily with two anyway. Now a look and a throw back to second. And he's back standing. Stepping in now, Homer Williams. He swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. The boys, that's 99 right through him. Now a pickoff play at second, and he's back in standing. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And maybe an excuse me swing there as this is tapped in front of the mound. Throw on to first in time, one away. Yeah, he might have thought about going to third for just a split second there. But with nobody out, I think the smart decision was to go ahead and take that out at first base. And that's exactly what he did. Ernesto Dorta will step in now. 0 for 2 to this point. 
first pitch to him. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Then he thought to bring in the infield in here with one away. Still a little early in my book. A run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into a big inning. Come set. Now the pitch. Swing. Hard hit ball to second. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Oh, just a great approach there to give him an RBI on the base hit. And with the way their guy's throwing the ball, three runs might be enough to do it. Into the box, Claudio Velasquez as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Runner at first here, one man out. From the belt, the pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. From the stretch. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Another 0-2 coming. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. He's ready. Now the pitch. And boy, what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats. Still stuck on 0-2. Come set. Now the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Back here for Pacific Coast League Baseball on the show. It's on to the seventh now in game two, but before we start, there's a look at our game summary to this point. Richie Leffler will stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been sailing along to this point. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. The next pitch. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's one and one. And that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Now some action out in the bullpen as the lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Seems like it's been a fairly consistent pattern. Hard stuff early, soft stuff late. But these guys don't seem to have caught on yet. Pretty standard operating procedure, too. I mean, they just look lost. Awesome. And for you at home, all I'm going to do is direct your attention to the hits column right there. It is what it is here in the seventh inning. Ronnie Chavez will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. One out, nobody on. Oh, he checked his swing there and pops this one up. And this will be taken in without much trouble. It's an easy start to the seventh. Two gone. Yeah, a good pitch there as he gets the pop out on the fastball as we take a look at his pitch breakdown so far. Ahmad Khan will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ballgame. And this will be fouled away. Now a pitch on the way. Now a swing and a fly ball hit fairly well out to deep center field. Canizaro is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Ray 
Bermudez will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Michael Chang will stand in over two thus far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. In the air to right center. Leffler is in his tracks now and very quickly one gone. The, the batter number two, two shortstop, Dee Gregorius. Stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Now here's the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here comes the 1-2. And oh, they'd look to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. As a look, now the pitch. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. He waits. Now the pitch. And he got him. This is just one of those sequences where he says, until you prove that you can hit this pitch, I'm just going to keep throwing it. That's just curveball after curveball. He just has no answer for it. Lionel Gibson will buy himself another at bat and in turn he'll get himself a nice little ovation for the work he's turned in on the mound so far. Uh, he's been great. This is... I'll hold that thought as the play is made out there for out number three and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here no errors one man left on. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Zephyrs lead it three to nothing. Darnell Davies will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. This ball will be chopped foul. Now the pitch. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Boy, I'll tell you, to be down 0-2 against a guy like this, with the stuff he's got tonight, not a comfortable spot to be in. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. And just another outstanding pitch right there. And it's not easy to do with so much on the line here in the eighth inning. But he's now down to his final five outs. Nate Fryman will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. First pitch coming. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Pitch on the way. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. One one on the way. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. In time to first and there are two away. The batter number three, second baseman, Akinori Mori. Akinori Mori will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Now the first pitch. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. One thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, 
When he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Two out, nobody on. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. The one, two. Got him. So that's eight perfect innings. And the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. Stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. First pitch of the inning is bounced up the middle, and they're going to get themselves a base runner rather quickly here as that's into center field for a leadoff single. And here's a case on the mound where he's trying to sneak a first pitch fastball by him, but he was having none of that at the plate. He just sends it right back where it came from. In now, Edgar Canizaro. Hit hard, but foul. From the belt, kicks and deals. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Pause, now the pitch. And no swing, apparently, ball one. Yeah, you can tell right there. Owen, too, he's just thinking about protecting the plate. And he nearly chased a bad one there. But he caught himself at the last possible instant. This is sharply hit to the right side. And with the first baseman holding, that finds a hole. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And the Reds keep getting richer. Two straight hits to start the inning. And now they can really look to solve this one away. Homer Williams to step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. He could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Here's the first offering. And look out as this bat shatters on impact. And he will somehow keep his eye on the baseball there as he has it for a big out number one. Ernesto Dorta will get another crack, one for three thus far. And here's the first pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Set now the pitch. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. From the belt, the pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. He's ready. Now the pitch. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. The 0-2 once more. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. Here's another 0-2. Nope. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Still now on one and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. Come set, now the pitch. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right. And that's in there, base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. Just a nice inside-out swing here. You'll see he lets that pitch travel deep, and those hands come through first, just shoots it the other way.
standing in now. Claudio Velasquez in the dirt and blocked behind the plate. And the runners will stay put here on ball one. One oh. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. Step on the back for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. So they pick up no run on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Game two heads to the ninth inning. New Orleans is out in front, three to nothing. Keith. Medina will stand in to start off the night here with his guys in danger of going down two games to none if they can't rally. Here's the first pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Now here it comes. And now he'll foul this one off as well. The fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Now the 0-2 pitch. Got him. So the magic number for a perfect game is now down to two. Oh, and that's a big first out. And it's nice to get that first one out of the way. He's not home yet, though. Still two big outs to get through before it's celebration time. Mike Sharp will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. In there, 0-1. Here's the pitch. Here's one hit towards the hole. On to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. One out to go. Can you believe this? Man, I wonder what's going through his head right now. Victor Urban will get to call the pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Line hard into left. Velasquez is there. Makes the catch. And he's done it. A perfect game. And that is absolutely dominant. I mean, what else can you say? 27 up, 27 down. And you know what? This is the first time I've ever witnessed a perfect game. So it's one of the hardest things for a pitcher in the world to do. Probably the hardest. But we were fortunate enough to see it here, guys. A perfect game. This one, definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, he definitely turned in the standout performance in this when he finishes with an even 10 strikeouts, and he was instrumental in leading his guys to victory. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Zephyrs win this thing three to nothing. Good night, everybody.
left, left, eight, eight men on base. Well, the, well, the exit goes, goes no, no run, on, on no, no hits, no, no errors. errors. They, they left, left no, no runners, runners on base. Time, Time for the ball game. Two, two hours, hours and 36, 36 minutes. minutes. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining us this evening. evening. And, and please, please drive home safely. Thank <laughs> you.